Inside a copper wire, electrons drift from atom to atom, creating an electric current. Their motion is slow, yet the energy they carry travels quickly down the wire as electromagnetic waves. Inside a copper wire, atoms lock into a compact lattice. The copper nuclei hold their places while a cloud of free electrons moves between them. When a voltage is applied, with the switch open, electrons leave the battery's negative terminal but can't complete the trip. Closing the switch completes the path. Electrons now flow through the wire, into the bulb's filament, and back to the... Think of a battery like this pump. It creates pressure in the water pipe, just as a battery creates voltage in a wire. The higher the pressure, the higher the voltage. The moving water is the current. If we tighten this valve, our resistance... In direct current, or DC, electrons flow in one steady direction. The result is a constant voltage, shown here as a flat line. In alternating current, or AC, electrons don't travel water. Inside the plant, high-pressure steam spins massive steel turbines. The rotating shaft turns a generator where coils of copper cut through invisible magnetic fields. Thick insulation keeps the power where it belongs, inside the wires. Circuit breakers shut off electricity before an overload can cause damage. Always grip the head of a plug, not the